Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 17. We're back at the West Coast, still working on our harvest. Um, we've sold a lot of grain, made a little bit of money. We've got $112,000 in the bank. So uh, our harvester was uh, over 80% full, so we're offloading it currently. Just about done with this field. Got a little bit to go on it. I'll have to go back and get some of this uh, manually, I think. But uh, yeah, just about done. I want to do some shopping around. I think I want to shop around for some fields. Um, I think we're good in the sheep department right now. Um, could always buy more sheep. But I, I kind of really want some more crop, another crop field here somewhere. So let me shop around here. Let me go back to the map. Uh, of course, if there's any missions on these, I'll run the mission. But I uh, kind of want to get a crop field up close to the farm here. I don't know how much these are. Let me... Yeah, let's go there. Any missions on these? Nope, but they still have crop in them. Actually, this one has canola, so that's very attractive. This one has uh, wheat. Yeah, let's go look at this canola one. It's only $57,000. That's not bad, and it hasn't been harvested yet. What else we got around here? Let me look at the fruit types, too, because that makes a big difference. Uh, let's see, 10 and 15 we own, 3 is in canola, um, and it's ready to harvest as well, 9 is in barley, soybeans are very attractive to me, and canola, 39, 39 is in canola, it's a nice big field. So it's 49. I don't know, I really like field 12 up here. You know what, I'm going to go ahead. Since there's no missions... Oh, you know, wait, it's not available in multiplayer. Alright, hang on, hold on, hold on. I'll be right back. We're going we're gonna to kind of transform here. Don't go anywhere. And I'm back. You guys didn't miss me one bit, did you? Alright. So, no mission on that one, no mission on that one. I think I'm going to go ahead and buy this, since there's still, and we're not in multiplayer, there's still uh, no missions available available on this. It's not a bad price, and it is in canola. I think we'll make our money back on this, so I'm going to buy it. So we need to come and harvest this canola over here. Uh, let's see. What else we got out there? How much money we got left? 54000 I hate to go broke. <laughs> I really don't want to, but uh, I'm not, I'm going to wait on this one. This is in wheat, and we don't really, wheat's not, uh, it's not a cash crop. Um, yeah, it's got a decent price, but, I mean, it's not, it's not, uh, you know, canola, sunflower, soybeans, those are your cash crops. Those are where you make the most money, and I'm actually watching that, uh, that price on the soybean there, because that's actually what we're harvesting down here now. You can see our harvester running in the distance there. See it? See it? See it? Okay. Let's uh, kind of climb through the hedges here. So it's still going. Actually, where's my tractor? There it is. Now what is that field in? Up there, just north of us here. Okay, that's barley. We got 50-something thousand left. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to hop down to 39 real quick. Because it's in canola. 95,000. Yeah, we can't afford that one. So if we got anything else, it would have to be a small field. Uh, I wish we could sell fields, you know, because I really don't need 30. 30 is kind of over here by its lonesome. Um, I can't teleport to it. I can teleport to this one. Field 30 is right here behind us. It's a big grass field. So I don't see us doing much with this field right now. Most of these are going to be, yeah, 48's already harvested. I really kind of want to stay north here, too. Field 3. It's got canola in it. 18,000. I'm going to go ahead and buy field 3. So i got 36,000 left. I may stop right there. And uh, wait for some of these other fields to, uh, to 
change over to a cash crop. Wheat and barley, they're not, they're not, they're just not. They're just not. I mean, <laughs> they're just not a cash crop. So, uh, let me tab back up here. I don't think there's anything else around. Not around 36,000 that we could uh, afford. We've got plenty of grass fields. You know what? Now that I've discovered that this road actually just kind of comes and connects down here, I may per I may make this a crop field. I don't well, I don't know. It's still got those flowers and stuff in it. Those darn flowers, man, they make it hard. They they really should make all that stuff. I know it's decorative and it looks nice, but make it to where we can plow them under. I mean, these darn these weeds, these aren't even flowers. These are weeds, man. See these weeds? We can't plow those under. Every map from, well, maybe not with Farm Sim 17, but when they come out with 19, they need to make it a requirement that everything can be modifiable, everything can be customizable, that we can be able to plow under these weeds or at least mow them down or spray for the weeds or maybe even bring like a weeder in here and weed them out or something, you know. Just let us get rid of them. Let us customize the map. Um, I know it looks more realistic with them there, but I don't want them there. Um, I'm, I'm the farmer. I want to clean up around my field. I want to mow around it, make it look nice, or plow it under and turn it into a new field. When you put those weeds like out in the middle of a field and you can't get rid of them, I'm pretty sure there's no way to get rid of them. At least not in my, uh, not in my, uh, days of doing this, so... Now, on Black Sheep Modding's map, and this is this is why I'm excited for uh, South Mountain Creamery, because it's done by Black Sheep Modding. They did uh, the Valley of the Old Farm, and that is the most customizable map I have found to date. Uh, you can remove the fences around the fields. You can plow under uh, the weeds. Um, and most of the map is uh, to the point where you can, like, clear the woods and the weeds and the fences and all that and turn it into large fields and uh, I can see us doing that map for a while because uh, there's so much to do on it and it's customizable that's the one downside to this map is that it's not customizable and don't get me wrong it's a pretty map but there's more to life than just being pretty you know what I mean um, you need to have that customization in there um, so that a player can actually farm, so that they can customize it the way they want to, uh, because this is farming simulator. That's that's really the primary goal is to uh, to build your empire and customize your farm the way you want it, and um, you know make the make the map you know customizable and all that. So that's how it should be. I'm gonna hire that out. Grab my tractor. Yeah, that, that, that stinks that I can't uh, make that a crop field down there just because of the weeds. I mean, I could I could plant crop, but I'd have weeds coming up in my crop. And they're, they really spread them out there with this last update. So, I don't think that's going to be a possibility. I'm just going to have to make it grass and just ignore that the weeds are there. Wish we could plow those under. Really, 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 really do. I guess I can make one of the other fields, like field 82, a crop field, but, you know, there's not really much point to it, because it's down there close to the sheep, and I kind of want to keep all those grass fields, you know, or hay fields. So the next field I'm really eyeballing is number 11 up here. But it might be some time before we buy it. Might be some time. And you know what? Do I have a furt? I do have a fertilizer. I need to fertilize field 12 that I just bought. So let me go grab, not the big guy, the T6. That looks good. Let me get the T6 down there and let it start fertilizing that field. I 
do have a fertilizer. I know I do. It's parked at the farm. I still got to clear those woods out. I'm hoping we can clear them out the way I want to. Like I said, customization on this map is uh, very minimal, I think. It's, gonna, it's, what it's, it's what it's looking like, anyway. Hopefully I can clear it out the way I want to. He's going to slow down right here because this is where the speed limit goes down to. You know what? I should have gone the other way. Hold on. Be quicker to go this way. Hold on, Bronco. Hold on. Let me go this way. I keep forgetting that that road goes straight up to the farm. Be a lot quicker than going through town. Just go straight up that road by 13 and boom, we're at the farm. Yeah, just counting down, really just counting, counting down the days to E3 now. I want to see what the huge announcement's about. See what's going on there. This is this video will come out uh, I think in May sometime, so it's still still coming, still on its way. There's our field over to the right there. Nice size field, really good size field. I'm happy with the purchase. That'll uh, that'll definitely help out our crop farm up here. You know what? I need to put the narrow tires on this tractor. Can I do that over here? Have I bought narrow tires before? I think I can do it here. Customize, yes. I need to put the narrow tires on there. Yes, I already own them. Good. Alright. Just for fertilizing. Now that we have the T5 over at the sheep farm, we can use it as a utility tractor and we can get in uh, get into places a little easier. Yes, there's our sprayer. I knew we had one. Now do I need to fill it up is the next question or is it already full? Uh, I do need to put some in it. Okay, ready to rock and roll. Yep, rock and roll is here to stay. It will never die. All right. And the best part about this is it doesn't destroy the crop. If I'd left the mother wheels on, they would definitely destroy the crop. And we don't want to do that. So uh, I think I'm gonna hire it out. And. Um, fill in the spaces that it misses, I guess. Let me get over a little bit here so I can get that last little bit there. Alright, so I'm just going to let it roll and it should get majority of this. Like I said, I'll go back and fill in the spaces that it does miss. Alright, back to the farm, which is this way. There we go. I'm gonna start doing some of this manually. So I got some space, some uh, little blotches out there that I need to get. These little little bits here. Yeah, that's the game plan. I'm going to try to keep most of the crop farm up north here. Um, 
and keep the sheep farm down around the sheep. And if we get into cows, if we get into cows, which, you know, I don't know how long this map will last. It depends on the, uh, the time frame of the release of uh, the new maps coming out. But if we get into cows, we'll keep all the cow stuff up around the cows. And you know, I may, I'll probably keep the game saved for this map. I won't, uh, I won't delete it. So we might actually come back and pick it up. And I may just reduce the hours back uh, on it that I put into it because I'm actually starting to enjoy this map, believe it or not. Even though it is uh, not as uh, customizable friendly or uh, as big feels big because it's so, everything's so tight-knit, but, uh, hmm, looking at those woods back behind me there, I'm very intrigued by those woods, pretty good chunk of land there, I may have to investigate that, maybe move that log, uh, trailer thing back there after we buy we need to buy the fields though that are on at least this side of it so field 11 and 9 we would have to buy field 11 and 9 to get that chunk of woods there's actually some woods up kind of north of it there too but I don't know if they're uh, I don't know if they're worth getting what is that what are those are those deer feeders they look like little deer feeders wouldn't it be cool if you could hunt on these games hunt hunt the deer and uh, all that stuff I'm sure that'll never come about because you know of uh, the rating the game rating they want to keep it uh, as uh, useful friendly as possible but uh, that would be cool to hunt I don't know why they uh, have to change the rating for a hunting game. I mean, it's hunting. It's part of part of who we are. We wouldn't be who we are if we didn't hunt. Even today, I mean, and you might this might sound silly, but raising cattle for beef or pigs for sausage and bacon and pork. Uh, raising sheep for you know the lamb uh, raising any animal for meat chickens you know eggs and stuff like that believe it or not all of that is part of hunting and gathering it's just a controlled part of it so to speak um, if those animals were out in the wild we would still hunt them for their meat and for the leather and for you know the various things you know uh, the sheep for their wool and their meat, you know, and all that. It's just that now it's become more tame, more of a uh, controlled process that we don't have to search for them anymore. We just kind of, it's, it's kind of like controlled hunting. I mean, really, if you think about it, I mean, that's, that's what it is. So, unless you're a member of PETA, uh, that's, that's, that's what it is. That's part of it. I wonder if members of PETA wear wool socks. It's a good question. I hmm. wonder if any members of PETA wear wool socks. Because, you know, they're, they're against, you know, animal cruelty. And I'm, a, you know, I'm against animal cruelty too, but... I like my bacon. And I like my sausage. And I like my steak. Steak and eggs. Mmm... Yeah, buddy. I like my pork chops. I like my hamburgers. I like my fried chicken. So, yeah. I'm American. In America, that's what we do. We eat fried chicken and hamburgers and steak and uh, barbecue and all that good stuff. Boy, I'm getting hungry. All right, we're going to have to end the episode here. i got to go get something to eat. All right. So, uh, yeah, we'll come back and... Uh, We've purchased field uh, 12 over there. I'm going to go back and uh, fertilize the areas of that field that it misses because I'm sure it's going to miss them because it's not a square field. Uh, that's just part of life. But anyway, 
I'll go back and fix that and get all that fertilized. And uh, would have been nice to run a mission on it to do that, but uh, the missions are still broken on this map for some reason. I don't know, maybe they have them set that way or not, but it's really weird. But anyway, I'll go back and fix that, and we'll get that uh, harvested. we got one more field of uh, soybean over there to harvest. So we'll get on that and harvest it, and um, come back and continue to work here at the West Coast. We get up here to this soybean here. Alright guys, until next time. Remember, you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Grain Arcade. We'll see you guys next time.